Well, hello everybody. So I'm Gary, I'm the Attitude Adjuster. So this is the uh, 615 and what we've got a problem with is on a lot of these old tractors, when you're playing around with them, you end up finding um, it very difficult to get people who know anything about them. And then second to that, it's difficult to actually buy parts for them anymore. So that's um, hose off that radiator section there has perished. And I've spent the last 12 months trying to get that part from um, the Fiat dealerships around Brisbane, enough to be able to get this tractor up and gurney it off so we can see what we're dealing with. So it clutch starts and runs okay, actually runs really well, but one of the big problems I've got, I changed the radiator because we didn't have a radiator for it, changed the radiator and then immediately blew that that piece there which is perished. So I think we might take him off and we'll see if we can uh, fabricate something up to suit that because it's just um, a no-go situation at the moment and it doesn't look as though I'm going to be able to buy that part from anywhere. Um, once it's clutch started it actually runs really good, really happy with the tractor. It was living up, um, up near you know, uh, Harvey Bay, so it lived in the salt and everything. Yeah, have a look at it. This is how it, it came to me. So, yeah, there's no gap between the starter and that for all the crap that's wedged in there or any other part of the tractor. So, that was what we had. And my brand new radio cat, I took it off, I dropped it off the seat or something, and I ran over it. So, that was very happy times. So, yeah, so she's the Franken tractor. So that's what we're up to. So we'll take that pipe off and we'll see if we can fabricate something up there and and go from there. This is one of my passions of fixing old gear. You know, it's a little less of a problem to say, well, I don't care what it looks like and just want something that runs and I can have fun with it and it can tow things around or lift things. So anyway, we'll get some tools and we'll get that undone, eh? So you just sit up there and watch. See if we can get you to balance. That's going to be a trick. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Now. See if we can get in there, eh? Still got to decide which is the easiest way to get in. Oh no, they are a bigger, bigger nut than I thought they were, so I'll have to go again. I reckon, I reckon, I reckon. I wonder what's left of that stuff, eh? A nice little hole up in here. No, no, she doesn't size up from there. Hmm. that one okay let's see what we've got so let's try this one here hopefully we're getting closer to it really really oh, that one's too big as well okay Surprised if that's going to be that size there. Okay, well, can I get over in here? 
and do this. Come on, you. There we go. See if we can get this out of here just to make our life a little easier. Really gonna have to start carrying some of my battery drills. My spare battery drills, the ones I bought for the home and workshop to make it easier to do things down in the paddock. Yep. There we go, that's better. Turn him in the right direction. Then we can get up in here and get him undone, eh? Sometimes these things are so hard to get. They just don't want to give up easy. <laughs> but when you look at the what's the name of it, it's not a surprise, eh? Well, that was the other end down inside of it, so it was pretty pretty horrid down in there too, eh? Pretty sadly. Okay, well, let's see if we can get that other piece undone. So much of this equipment is going to become a big issue into the future trying to service any of this sort of machinery because it just isn't isn't able to get parts for. It. Well, hello everybody. So I'm Gary, I'm the Attitude Adjuster. So this is the uh, 615 and what we've got a problem with is on a lot of these old tractors, when you're playing around with them, you end up finding um, it very difficult to get people who know anything about them. And then second to that, it's difficult to actually buy parts for them anymore. So that um, hose off that radiator section there has perished. And I've spent the last 12 months trying to get that part from um, the Fiat dealerships around Brisbane, enough to be able to get this tractor up and gurney it off so we can see what we're dealing with. So. Clutch starts and runs okay, actually runs really well, but one of the big problems I've got, I changed the radiator because we didn't have a radiator for it, 
changed the radio and then immediately blew that that piece there which has perished so I think we might take him off and we'll see if we can uh, fabricate something up to suit that because it's just um, a no-go situation at the moment and it doesn't look as though I'm going to be able to buy that part from anywhere um, once it's clutch started it actually runs really good really happy with the tractor it was living up um, up near you know uh harvey bay so it lived in the salt and everything yeah have a look at it this is how it it came to me so yeah there's no gap between the starter and that for all the crap that's wedged in there or any other part of the tractor so that was what we had and my brand new radio cat i took it off i dropped it off the seat or something and i ran over it so that was very happy times so yeah so she's the franken tractor so that's what we're up to. So we'll take that pipe off and we'll see if we can fabricate something up there and and go from there. This is one of my passions of fixing old gear. You know, it's a little less of a problem to say, well, I don't care what it looks like and just want something that runs and I can have fun with it and it can tow things around or lift things. So anyway, we'll get some tools and we'll get that undone, eh? So you just sit up there and watch. See if we can get you to balance. That's going to be a trick. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Now. See if we can get in there, eh? Still got to decide which is the easiest way to get in. Oh no, they are a bigger, bigger nut than I thought they were, so I'll have to go again. I reckon, I reckon, I reckon. I wonder what's left of that stuff, eh? A nice little hole up in here. Ah, she doesn't size up from there. Hmm. that one okay let's see what we've got so let's try this one here hopefully we're getting closer to it really really oh, that one's too big as well okay Surprised if that's going to be that size there. Okay, well, can I get over in here and do this? Come on, you. There we go. Let's see if we can get this out of here just to make our life a little easier. really going to have to start carrying some of my battery drills, my spare battery drills, the ones I bought for the home and workshop to make it easier to do things down in the paddock. Yep, there we go, that's better, turn him in the right direction, then we can get up in here and get him undone, eh? more. 
That's better. Yeah, that's out of the way. Come on, you. Out you come. Sometimes these things are so hard to get. They just don't want to give up easy. <laughs> but when you look at the what's the name of it, it's not a surprise, eh? Well, that was the other end down inside of it, so it was pretty pretty horrid down in there too, eh? Pretty sadly. Okay, well, let's see if we can get that other piece undone. So much of this equipment is going to become a big issue into the future trying to service any of this sort of machinery because it just isn't isn't able to get parts for. It. Great deal of tightness. Sorry about rocking you around like that. There's a fair bit of tightness in that. Okay. I should have done this a long time ago and got this sorted and did something about it. This tractor is a good tractor to be using around here. really wouldn't mind having it as a working tractor. After having established that it runs good, and barely, barely buddy has to be rolling and you pop the clutch and away she goes like a train. So she goes good and that's what I'm trying to do. Once I can establish that those things work and they work okay then I can go further through it and decide how you know how many things I fix up on it I'll stop rocking around you but you know you've got to have water cooling to be able to do anything that's for sure you don't want to be trying to do these things on on a basis of of it uh, is only air cooled until you you know, start overheating. Okay. Yeah, we'll need to get something to knock that off there and see what we can do. Starting to come away. There we go. Okay. I have to see if we can see if we can manufacture something up. Open that out and see what we can do about joining onto it. I'll put the bolts back in here so I don't forget where they are. <laughs> I could strip this part off the other tractor I've got, but the problem with these ones here is that each and every one of these tractors uniquely ends up having so many good parts on it that you go oh I'd much rather fix it up and keep using it than to um, 
call it quits on it and say that it can't be it can't be um, used and fixed so that's that one we've stripped that part out so we'll move on to the next one